you. Knock knock. Who's there? Hello. Mm -hmm. Wanda. Wanda who? Wanda a left. <laughs> <laughs> Kanza is a stable hen or a barn hen, so she comes and she is helping to take care of the horses. They need to be groomed, they need a lot of care that they wouldn't necessarily need if they were uh, turned out loose because they depend solely on us to take care of them. Whatever needs to be done around the barn to, to take care of the barn and the horses, Kanza helps with. We teach horsemanship lessons to people of all ages and all abilities. So we give lessons to typical people of typical abilities, as well as therapeutic horsemanship. We also offer ground lessons for people who perhaps are not interested uh, in riding, but they would like to work around horses. We specialize in offering therapeutic horsemanship lessons to people who have um, disabilities, be they mental, physical, uh, emotional, or social. Kanza has been taking lessons with us for several months. She started with us last year, and then she takes a break so that it, this is a treat for her. And she came to camp in the summer, and she started back taking lessons uh, last month. It's also her job, and it's a fun job, if I do say so myself. In 2010, I started art therapy sessions with my brother, Sean, to help him as someone who had become a selective mute, meaning he was very selective in who he spoke to and when he spoke. I wanted to use art therapy um, in a way to draw him out of himself and begin to conduct conversation with me again, which he eventually did and still does but um, of course he's still selective on when he does so. I provided many different mediums for him to work with and he enjoyed them but he seemed to really take to watercolor and since then he's been creating of his own volition and he creates several paintings in one sitting and they're mainly of abstract nature. I think he creates beautiful works. I think they're very interesting. Later on in 2010, while I was getting my fine arts degree, I felt I wanted to document his process and because he had so much passion in his work and so much passion to do it. So I wanted to document the process through photography and film. And later we actually exhibited collaboratively together his works alongside mine at the Student Gallery in Norwich University College of the Arts in England. And it gave him exposure and a sense of accomplishment. So later we found out about Heart and Soul, which was an exhibition taking place in England. And he applied, he submitted his work. He got in along with 11 other artists um, from the UK. It was amazing for him to be a part of a show like that. And he's very proud of himself and he's at the start of, I think, a budding artistic career.